It goes without saying that visual experience of an Android app forms a significant part of the impression users have about your app's quality. Keeping it up to date with the latest Android design guidance helps your app feel like it belongs and improves usability. From our newly updated core app quality checklist, I would like to highlight four new recommendations for visual experience. First, we strongly recommend that you use material design components to build your app and not the platform default components. Android's look and feel has changed dramatically from hollow in Android 4 to today's continuously improving material design system. In addition to giving your app that modern look and feel, material design components also offer many ready to use complex widgets that will save you a lot of time. My personal favorite is the time picker. Imagine having to code all of this from scratch. With material design components, this is just one import away. Check out this modern Android development series on material design components for more information. The second thing I want to highlight is Dark Beam. This is a feature that has gained significant traction with users since it was introduced with Android 10. It is now supported at an OS level on about one third of active Android devices. I can't tell you how delightful Dark Theme is, especially when I'm using my phone in the evening. If your app uses material design component, Dark Theme can be easily adopted. Check out the Dark Theme development guide for more details. Next, gesture navigation. Here, users can navigate back by swiping in from either side of the screen and remove the button navigation bar at the bottom of the screen. And this gives the user more screen real estate. With edge-to-edge -edge screens becoming more popular on Android, even in the entry-level devices, it is becoming increasingly important that your app is built with gesture navigation in mind. By default, when you're using system or material design component, such as seat bar, the system excludes the component from gesture navigation to reduce confusion. If you're creating custom components, these should account for gesture navigation as well. Last but not least, sometimes preserving the exact state of the app rather than going to the home screen is the correct thing to do on resumption. Imagine where the user accidentally exits or switches app to get a piece of information they need to fill our form. On resumption, if the user switches back quickly, say within a few minutes, the app should resume to the exact state as before. If the user resumes at a later time, app developer may decide to take the user to the default home screen or resume to the last state, depending on the context of the app. As we said before, visual experience is one of the key components to how users perceive the quality of your app. Following the core app quality checklist will help you with the basics. The rest is up to you.